And Jamesy, what, what are Clare going to do with the full back spot having lost Conor Cleary, what looks to be gone for the summer? Yeah, it's a huge, he's a huge loss, lads, because he matches up really well with Galan. Obviously, he's physically strong, he's experienced, he's, you know, he's, he's a proper full back. Uh, and we arguably don't have a ready made replacement. And I'd say if you look back over the league games over the last two years, Conor Cleary, I think, has played every one of them. Um, now, Adam Hogan is probably the long term solution there, but Adam is still under 20. Physically, you know, is he capable of handling Galan or manhandling Galan or Flanagan as, <laughs> as you maybe have to do in there? You know, I, I'm not so sure. I mean, you know, Shane Amori, obviously, and, and Paul Flanagan are the two guys that would come in maybe as cornerbacks. But, you know, those limit guys ask a different set of questions, especially in two man full forward line. So I'm sure Brian, I mean, he has the option of putting David McInerney back there, but. You're robbing Peter to play to pay Paul because McInerney has been outstanding on the wing, you know, brilliant going forward. Um, and he matches up really well with Hagerty um outside. So yeah, I mean, look at at least they've had time to to kind of I suppose weigh it up and, and look at a few things in, in, in training. I, I I'm not sure exactly what the position on Connor is. I mean, clearly he's as tough as they come and maybe he's harboring hopes that he might play some part. I, I, I don't know and I haven't been talking to anybody close to the setup. But uh yeah that's the that's the that's the biggest call that Brian and, and the Clare management have to make because obviously, you know, Limerick looked like the weekend like they could get goals. Um they could have, they could have had five or six goals, seven goals as in terms of the chances that they created at the weekend. And um you know and the way Clare have played them, they've gone man to man. Um you know you're going to be on an island inside in that full back line with loads of space in front of you and Brian is backing these guys to, to, to survive. So it's a big, big call to make. I think Rory Hayes didn't play well at all last year in the Munster final. And I think, you know, Rory would be particularly disappointed, I think, at, at the way that went and looking maybe to, to atone for that. Um, so he'd be one of the two in there, I'd imagine. But who the second guy is going to be, Adam Hogan maybe, but David McInerney is probably a, a, a live option as well. Limerick are going to go after the full back line as well. Even looking at the game the last day, they fed the full forward line probably more than they had at any stage yet this season. It was a lot more, I'd say, a lot more direct, maybe a lot less triangle passing out around the middle. They were trying to get that direct ball in. Whoever is in there, I'd say they're they're going to tr- they're going to try and hammer them from the start. Yeah, and and Michael, I, I was down there and like to see the space in front of. I mean, the Limerick half forwards were way out the field, and Joyce, you sensed, kind of wanted to try to sit, but you know he couldn't either because. Carl O'Neill was getting on was getting on ball. They threw in Tom Morris. He sent it forward at one at one point. So, yeah, I mean, there was an ocean of space, um, you know, in the cork in the cork half of the field, and like it's not easy to play, and especially if they get time at all to get the heads up and pick out that diagonal ball. And Galan, like obviously he's you know you're playing from behind. He beats you out in front. You try to get out in front, and then he's lethal coming late to the ball from behind. I mean, the one he grabbed over Sean O'Donnell, whose head probably played the hurley, but yeah. <laughs> referees are, are, are maybe you know they're slow to pull it and so he's yeah he's a real threat and he definitely is you get the sense that when he's playing with that swagger and that bit of confidence and that maybe even bit of arrogance um that Limerick are a better more potent the danger side and yeah you'd imagine um that Limerick would have looked at this and said right if we if we can go for the juggler early on and expose any kinks that might be in that careful backline they'll, they'll be looking to that's exactly what they'll be looking to do 